Good morning, people of God. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I'm here just flowing with the Holy Spirit. And I was just led to record it because I know that someone on the other end of this message is experience what me and the Holy Spirit is just you know communicate on it is good to communicate with the Holy Spirit when we communicate with the Holy Spirit we develop a flow an utterance and the thing with the prophetic we have to know how to flow. When you turn on a pipe, the water flow. When the rain falls, there is a pour, a continual pour. So when you tap into the Spirit of God, you flow. The Bible says in Genesis 1 that the Spirit of God over over the waters so it is the spirit of god moves and when the spirit of god moves you too will move because the bible says that the wind comes out of his chambers and it goes to and fro and back to his place so is everyone that is born with the spirit so without the spirit you will become like a park car you know a park car without an engine go nowhere a park car without the key to start the ignition to light up the collaborator so the car can start and move so the spirit of god is what moves so while i was here moving with the holy spirit flowing the holy spirit i was talking to the holy spirit and i was apologizing because sometimes we go out through the day and we don't stop to consult or communicate with the Holy Spirit and he's right there with us we might talk to him in the morning and we don't talk to him again till we're ready to go to our bed some of us even go to our bed and forgot to speak to him guilty so I was just here apologizing to him because when times of crisis when times of distress, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us. And many times we miss our space or time of comfort because we're focusing on the crisis. We are going through a state right now. And the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us. But we miss that season. We miss that dimension. We miss that realm of comfort. Because our eyes are on the crisis. Or our eyes are on the situation. When last you been comforted by the comforter. My God. We look comfort. From other source some look comfort from drinking some look comfort from their wife or from their husband some look comfort in any other means some look comfort from their money if some people don't have money they are not comfortable but how many of us is looking comfort in the Word of God do you know the Bible says come unto me who is heavy laden and burdened 
and I will give you rest. And many of us miss our rest season because we are looking on our situation. Hear me well, hear me well. Don't miss this. In order for us to sense that it is a season of comfort, because the Holy Spirit is what brings us into rest. I speak early about the flow of the Holy Spirit. It is a pull. So the Holy Spirit pulled us into rest. He pulled us into restoration. And he pulls us into restoration. Rest, restitution, sorry. So, what is rest, restore, and restitution? You no, know, rest is where God wants us to be. When you're in rest, you are at peace. No matter what evolving around you, you're just a place of rest. It is not a place where you come tired from work and you say, oh, I'm going to go into my bed and eat a big stew peas and rice and drink a long glass of lemonade fill your belly and go to your bed and rest no it's not a rest when you work up yourself from the gym and you come home tired and you have a warm bath and a massage and go to your bed no that's not rest those are just temporary rest for the body but when you are spiritually rest you are resting in god you're resting in the presence of God. The presence of God become a cocoon and you envelop yourself. So no matter what or where or when, you know that you're in this space of the atmosphere of rest. No restore is giving back what you have been lost so you might have lost something in the past. And what the Holy Spirit does, he pulled you back into the future. And he gave it back to you. My God. The Bible says that Job lost everything. And Job went through a time of crisis, a time of distress, a time of desolation, a time of discouragement. But God pulled him out of that and bring him into rest and give and restore him. My God. And not that God gave Job rest and restore, he also restitute him. What is restitution? Is when you get back more than what you lost. My God. So you might lost half one car in the past, but when you step into restitution, in order for God to give you back that car, he give you two cars. My God, I hope you're getting this. So it, it is very important, people of God, to know the season of rest, restore, and restitution. And as I end this prophetic flow, I... <laughs> I release the wind of God to blow you. Yes, come on, blow. Just drop off everything that is heavy burden you and just flow in the spirit. I activate your prophetic flow and that the spirit of God will transition you into the future. And let me share this revelation. Every second of the click of the time on your watch or clock it is a step into the future my god let that one soak i will speak more about the realm of existence but goodbye for now i hope that this prophetic flow has encouraged you get up 
from out of your slumber and let the wind of God blow you, blow you. Be free, relax, and enjoy. This is Minister Flames of Fire coming to you from the throne room. I hope you've been blessed. God bless you.